Okay, so this is a continuation with the video that I did. How can you tell if you're a volunteer starseed? I mean, ultimately, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, I would say that if the chances are very, very high that you probably are, if you're even asking that question. But I'll just go ahead and tell you my personal experience. When I think back, I entered into this world with this seemingly natural preset program to challenge the system. And I mean, thinking back in human terms, it's kind of embarrassing, honestly. You know, no matter what I was told to do, I rebelled against it. I was taken to a child psychologist when I was four to see what the hell was wrong with me. And I was diagnosed as being opposition defiant. And that goes back as far back as I can remember. Doesn't matter what you're telling me to do. You have to go to school and get good grades. Uh, no, you have to fuck off. You have to get a career and make a bunch of money. No. You have to fuck off. Like, it didn't matter. I don't care what you're telling me to do. I was born with this pre-programmed, like pre-programmed, burning desire to rip this game apart. Every aspect of it. And I was pretty crazy. I was pretty nuts. I wasn't in a very good mental state the vast majority of the first part of my life. It wasn't until I actually began to spiritually awaken that my mind settled down. I was like, oh, okay. So this is just a game. Okay. Well, instead of just bulldozing through the whole thing and trying to tear it down, which obviously isn't working because the humans will just fight you and fight you and fight you and fight you. Maybe I can play the game and plant little seeds of awakening within the game. Because the only way to tear this game apart is to allow the humans to do it themselves. And the only way the humans can do it themselves is if they begin to awaken and realize that they're just playing a game. So uh, it, it really, really, really gave me the ability to re-strategize how I go about doing this. Not just a rebel without a cause, <laughs> you know. Uh, I am a rebel, but with a cause with a very, very detailed cause. And um, yeah, I think most of you who are here to help change the game can probably relate to something kind of sort of similar to that. Like I've said before, there is no blanket that you can, can put over every single volunteer star seed. Um, and I'm sure there are some long-term humans who wanted to take part in changing the game too. You know, it's going to be different for everybody. If there was a blanket that you could put over everybody who is a volunteer star seat, I think the only blanket you can really put over it is that you came here to change the game. That's it. And I think that's going to be different for every individual, how you go about doing that. Um, at the end of the day, I don't, really think it matters exactly what you do. You, you can be creative and do it however you really want, but even if you're so locked in the amnesia of being a human and being a character in this game, you're still holding a frequency that's foreign to the planet. 
And that frequency, whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not, is changing the game because your frequency affects everything and everyone you come in contact with. And, and the vibrational momentum that this game has been accumulating over a big long period of what you would call time is being disrupted. It's being disrupted and pushed into a different direction. And then ultimately, kind of like a freight train barreling down the tracks at 120 miles an hour. It's being slowly brought to a stop, turned around, and pushed off into a different direction. So, if that helps, I think your average volunteer starseed, which means you've never been here before, more than likely was born weird. You know, you see a lot of humans, long-term humans, um, aspire to be weird. You know, weirdness is a virtue because they know what being normal is like. They know what fitting in and playing the game is like. They've done that a million times. Now they aspire to be weird. I think your average volunteer starseed aspires to be normal because they never fit in, ever. They don't know what it's like to fit into this game. You just get plopped into this weird, strange, funky dimension where everybody's playing these stupid ass games and you're like, why don't I know what to do here? How do you know what to do? Why don't I know what to do? How come everything that I'm doing is wrong? How come I don't fit in to any group of people. How come I seem to be so lost here? I want to know what it's like. What is it like to be normal? So your average star seed probably goes through a period in their life where they try to be normal, but they don't know how. <laughs> so it makes them look even weirder because they've never played this game before. Not only have they never played this game, but they've never played any, any of the millions and millions and millions of little bitty mini games that go on within this big game. You know, like the family game where uh, there's a bunch of humans that spawn off of each other and, and they, they, they're like this tight knit group of people who have each other's backs and love each other just because they share the same blood. That game, it's really weird. We don't really play that game and in other dimensions and on other planets. And, you know, the, the career game, <clears throat> I have to force myself to learn how to do this monotonous task over and over and over and over and over my whole life in exchange for paper that unless I have some of this paper, I'm not allowed to feed myself. I'm not allowed to have a home. I'm basically not allowed to fucking live. Never played that game before. That's really fucking bizarre. You know, I mean, it, the list goes on and on. You can continue the list yourself in your own imagination, but all these little games that humans, the, we star seeds have never played anything like this. So, I think that if you can think back and you have been weird since the day you entered into this planet, into this dimension, and you have at least at one phase or another in your life have aspired to be normal, it's probably a good indication that you're a volunteer starseed who has never been here before. Anyway. I hope, I hope that helped. Like whoever is still asking the question, yeah, but what if this and what if that? Well, like I said, um, at the end of the day, I feel like if you're even asking that question, the chances are very high that you probably are. Okay, so anyway, see if that helps. If not, uh, I'll try to think of a better way to explain it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Y'all have a good day.